Welcome to the IELTS Secrets Podcast. I'm Neil, your English instructor from New Zealand, here to help you excel in your speaking and writing tests. Today, we're diving into part three of the speaking section with our topic being holidays. Let's look at question number one. Why do you think people need holidays? When discussing why people need holidays, it's crucial to structure your response using a clear template. Start by stating your belief with, I believe that most people look forward to having holidays for two reasons. This sets the stage for your explanation. Next, use firstly to present your first reason. For example, I believe that most people look forward to having holidays for two reasons. Firstly, Holidays provide an opportunity for relaxation and rejuvenation, allowing people to recharge and reduce stress. Transition smoothly to secondly and explain your second reason. For instance, Secondly, holidays offer a chance for exploration and new experiences, enabling people to broaden their horizons and create lasting memories. Now let's look at question two. How much holiday a year do you think a person needs? Let's discuss the ideal duration of holidays. Use a structured template to organize your response effectively. Begin with, it mainly depends on two factors. One, discuss personal preferences and workload with examples like It mainly depends on two factors. One factor is individual preferences and workload. Some people may prefer longer breaks to fully unwind, while others may prefer shorter breaks due to work commitments. 2. Discuss cultural norms and societal expectations with examples like 2. Cultural norms and societal expectations also play a role. In some countries, longer annual leave entitlements are common, while in others, shorter breaks are more typical. Now let's look at question 3. How have people's expectations about holidays changed over the last 50 years? Now, let's explore how holiday expectations have evolved over time. Use a clear template to structure your response. Start with, while most people used to, and describe traditional holiday expectations such as staying closer to home or taking fewer vacations. Then contrast with, they tend to, these days. For example, they tend to seek more adventurous and exotic destinations, as well as unique and personalized experiences. Now let's look at question four. How do you think holidays will change in the next 50 years? Lastly, let's speculate on the future of holidays. Use a simple template to structure your response. Begin with a prediction such as, it's predicted that, and discuss potential changes like, it is predicted that advancements in technology will further facilitate travel, making destinations more accessible and immersive. Then address additional expectations with, what's also expected to happen over the next five decades is that, and explain how factors like sustainability and wellness tourism may become more prominent. And there you have it. By following these structured templates and providing clear examples, you can effectively answer questions about holidays in the IELTS speaking test. Remember to practice and send your audio responses to our website for expert evaluation and personalized feedback.